Greetings Metal community, it's uh, Roger back with another uh, From the Vault. It's gonna be heavy metal, thrash metal only. Um, in the background we are listening to yeah, heavy metal, hard rock, vengeance, take it or leave it. And this was originally released in... Uh, originally, this is an original press so... 1987, nothing inlay or anything. Uh, really cool album. Uh, I love this. It's it's not my kind of go-to um, style, but but this one has always kind of yeah resonated well with me uh, at least. Um, cool vocals and uh, yeah, very catchy songs. So uh, kind of a a cleanser for me when I listen to a lot of extreme music. I also have the um, it's the album before yeah, eighty six. We have ways to make you rock, and I'm sure you have. You know, this is also a original pressing that I picked up uh, way later than uh, you know. Take it or leave it. Um, not as good overall, I think. Still a solid, solid uh, release from them, but you know, it was kind of take it or leave it. This and the album after take it or leave it was pretty good as well, but then kind of um, death metal happened and um, stuff like this was never, yeah, never gone back to kind of discovering new bands in that that uh, type of heavy metal in a way another original is you know uh, realm society or suicidity um, this is the original press uh, would have loved to have the first album on a repress i have that one on a russian booth but you know me i'm gonna burn that mother f but yeah, uh, this album is more like technical, uh, not so uh, in a way brutal as as the first. Is that Endless War? It's called. But yeah, nevertheless, a great, great band, uh, great album. Um, to, I don't think they done. I don't remember if they did anything after that one. But you know, and we are going back to one of the most well-known Japanese band Loadness you know Lightning Strikes yeah I kind of like this band a lot in the same you know in the same vein as uh, Vengeance it was kind of something there that hooked me especially the vocalists it was great but they went ahead and removed him with a uh, you know I think it was an American singer uh, to sell more albums outside Japan, but I think that backfired on them because, you know, the bad pronunciation and, and uh, great vocals, you can't kind of destroy that uh, special vibe that they had back in the day. I also have this uh, great live album, Live and Loud. Live I Live, Live Load Alive, um, recorded in Tokyo, it's a double vinyl, I have had this for, this came out in, uh, had to be 84, 85, 84, so uh, yeah, this was my first, um, I love the version of um, In The Mirror, on this is a killer, killer song and a killer riff. And you know, the guitar player of, of um, Loudness is awesome. I don't know if I've shown this before. This is the only original Hell Star that I have. You know, the Burning Star. You know, the two, three first Hell Star album are my you know favorite albums. But um, yeah, there's no inlay in this either. Um, I don't know if that was originally, but uh, 
I bought this on a kind of a used store back in yeah late 80s when this came out was um, I don't know but always cool to have that you know music formation back there uh, kind of a semi new mi mid new this is a reissue of the Hypnosia um, Extreme Hatred, Swedish um, excellent, uh, you know, kind of brutal thrash. Uh, this is just a killer, killer release. I have the original CD uh, in there. I think I've shown this before, but uh, yeah. This is an album that, you know, every thrash fan should check out because um, if you like, you know, old, you know, the old uh, creator stuff and things like that. This is a um, absolute killer album. And, um, I, rec I recommend every thrash fan to check it out because Hypnosia is killer stuff. Then I just had to pull out this one, uh, you know, Mordred Fool's Game. Uh, kind of um, funky funky fun thrash metal uh, not every day I love this album but uh, if I'm in the right mood this is a pretty good listen uh, but sometimes I kind of it gets too funky for me uh, in a way but um, they released a new album this year I think that I haven't checked out yet I think Brandon talked about that one and another well-known band Sacred Reich Sacred Reich. Ignorance. Uh, this came out in 87. Metal Blade. Yeah, pretty good. I kind of like this more than, you know, the most popular album uh, they have, you know, American Way. But, uh, Going, coming back to that later, then we have, of course, the um, very well-known um, Surf Nicaragua, came out in 88. This was pretty popular, I remember, back in the days. And, um, Warpigs cover, you know me and covers, but on the EP, it's, do what you want. Don't put covers on full lengths. Take them on EP, it's that much better. So yeah, but a uh, cool cover and um, cool. Uh, I mean, Surf Nicaragua is a cool song. Uh, then we have um, Live in Dynamo. Came out in 89. It has, you know, uh, the same songs. I mean, uh, yeah, Surf Not Nicaragua, War Pigs uh, are here as well. Um, so, yeah, kind of four song EP live. You know, back in the days that was cool. I'm not, I wouldn't have bought it now if uh, it had came, came up now. But uh, yeah, and then we have, you know, the most known The American Way. I kind of remember liking this more back in the days than I do now I mean it's not bad at all I'm just uh, kind of uh, yeah I was a little bit disappointed when I won went back and listened to it but uh, still uh, a good fun listen but uh, they kind of change a little bit on this album got more serious in a way so uh, but uh, still still a good album and you know a lot of People love this album, and I understand that. I have no problem understanding that. Then we are going over to one of the funniest bands in Germany. This is um, Tankard Alien. Uh, this uh, EP was kind of mandatory back in the days. Uh, you just had to have this. You know, Alien uh, 666 pack and. Uh, Remedy was a cool, cool song, uh, I remember. So this is a 
damn cool EP to have in the collection, you know, original stuff. I have a couple more. Tank God, this is the live album that they released back in 91. Fat, ugly and live. So, uh, yeah. It's kind of a hit parade for them. I mean, all the good songs are here, you know. Uh, Meaning of Life, uh, Mercenary, of course, has to be there. And, uh, yeah, Chemical Invasion. Yes, uh, just a great, fun live album. Seen these guys live once and, you know, it is all about party. Uh, you know, and Meaning of Life, I'm having some of the stuff on, on CDs, but uh, this is the original vinyl from, you know, back in the noise days. And uh, yeah, Good, great, great uh, album as well. The Tank Out is, is, you know, it's fun, a lot of goofy lyrics, but also some serious stuff. and But they do it well, you know, so... Um, it's always fun to listen to this old stuff. Then we're going over to a very well-known thrash band. It's um, Sepultura with the Schizophrenia. This is, uh, I think this uh, is a um, reissue from 1990. Uh, I don't know if there was any vinyl issues before that. Uh, they were on a, uh, you know, a small label back in um, Brazil on the original release, I think. But you know, great, great stuff. You know, and Troops of Doom um, is a killer, killer song. Great album to have. Then, of course, you know, uh, another must-have back in the days. Beneath the Remains, had to have this one, uh, no inner no inner self, inner sleeve here, so um, yeah, just a, a absolute thrash classic. I don't know if anyone, anyone hates this album or dislikes this album, um, I've never seen anybody talk shit about it and it's a good reason why. I also had a AP from, you know, the, um, uh, yeah, taken from the um, Arise album, of course, uh, Under Siege, uh, uh, Orgasmatron, Trips of Doom, on the B-side, nothing much to see, and uh, again, there was a lot of this EPs back in the days that you know you bought them if there was of the favorite band, but I'm kind of that's cool to have in the collection. Don't get me wrong, and you know they actually did a pretty damn good cover of Orgasmatron on it. And we are going over to uh, Rock and Roll and you know Running Wild. Um, I was, I am a big fan of Running Wild, but of course back in the days they were. Um, do you believe this is an original? 85? I don't know if... Um, I bought some of these uh, in like used from a, a friend of mine, so... But I'm guessing... I guess all these are... Original stuff. And uh, we also have... If I can pull them up... Portrayal. I mean, I love the covers of uh, Running Wild. They're pretty cool. Again, it's pretty good condition on it. It came out in uh, '88. And you know, uh, kind of the early Running Wild for me. They have some 
operator stuff later on as well but but yeah i kind of i think death metal happened to them as well you know this is a uh, live ready for boarding i think it's alive from somewhere some, you know, cut out. somebody has used this to buy stuff so it's kind of it wasn't me but um yeah just um cool to have and good songs on it so uh I'm not a big uh, live album fan at all, so, but it's it's an okay album. Then we have um, Death or Glory. This came out in. This actually has a lyric sheet. If I can pull it out. This is actually the jacket for the vinyl, but I have replaced that one. So to take care of the vinyl, you have to use those anti-static um, stuff. Yeah, another good album. Uh, 89. This is kind of one, maybe the last album that's was really good i do have bass and stone but that was kind of uh, yeah not so good for me and then of course we got some fucking saxophone that we can't listen to so yeah it's uh, kind of uh, yeah it's a it's an okay album but it's kind of not not my favorite and you know i saved the best for the last you know and uh, that's of course under jolly me. So uh, great album, I uh, love this album. Was the yeah maybe the first album I got by Running Wild was under jolly me, and um, yeah that was all I had to show from my collection today. Didn't want it to make it too long, but I. Pulled out uh, way too much stuff, but um, hope it was okay to see. And um, thanks for watching. Be sure.